Hello and welcome to another episode of GM Talks. This is short and sweet on how to punish early queen's attack. You know when they bring out the queen and you get confused and you go, you panic and and uh, suddenly it just takes a pawn and something and it's very annoying, right? You, we we all been there. Um, but the first thing to to consider is is it really uh, good to bring out the queen? Usually it's not good to bring out the queen because you can get tempo by attacking it. So you just have to be careful and alert and not panic and sort of think uh, slowly and say, okay, uh, I'm not, uh, and, and sometimes you, you might switch into attacking mode. But let's see if the, one of the most common queenside attacks we get all the time. And you, if you play e5 against e4, you have definitely played against this move, queen h5. Uh, and it's it's uh, bringing out the queen too early, for sure. So, uh, what can you say here? Well, one of the thing is you're threatening uh, this pawn. So you're threatening this pawn, uh, and with black defended, he can defend it in different ways. Uh, one of the ways to defend it is with uh, the d pawn. That's not bad. Uh, and, and black would play bishop c4 um, and attack here. White will say and uh, here threatening the scholar's mate. Uh, and then if you do this, you're disqualified because after this, white get rewarded by taking here, and you are made it. Uh oh. So be careful here. Be very careful. S remember to think when. Uh, when something like this happens. So if you go d6 and he goes c4, you have to cover this pawn. You can do it like this. This is 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 one way uh, to do it. And often they will do something like this. And then you can say, okay, what I really want to do is to develop and uh, at the same time as you're just you just you're just attacking me and I'm just developing and you're losing tempi. So now white has already spent two tempi getting his queen to f3 and if he continues the stuff then okay you have to cover this one uh, but you, at this moment black has a solid position ready for something like uh, like this free of the bishop c6 and white's queen is is in a weird position he spent a lot of time just attacking this pawn just remember to defend it that's the big thing uh, the thing is with queens coming out early i think the the most common move here is to just play knight c6 covering e5 and white will definitely go here hoping to mate you in one move um you could go something like queen e7 here just to make sure uh, that you cover the pawn and after something like uh, then knight f3 makes no sense at all so this cannot be bad uh, at all and next move you're gonna play knight f6 attacking his uh, queen so the basic rule the basic rule is to first defend and then use the queen's early position to gain tempi by attacking it because you can kick that queen around. You can just kick it. And uh, and it's not very well placed on h5 this early in the game. It's a little bit like when you start out in chess, it, the, the pieces are very confusing. And But the rooks, they are simple. They move forward and they move to the side and everybody can sort of grasp the rook. Uh, that's, uh, so a lot of uh, players, when they start, they play this move and then they'll follow up with this move because then they can get the rook in. Uh, but rooks in the early phase of the games are not a very good thing because a rook is better than a bishop and a, or a knight, but it, often you will have to, to ex uh, exchange one rook for a bishop or a knight and then you will, in well, material-wise, you actually lose two pawns in that transaction. Sometimes it's not really that bad because light pieces are good in the middle game and rooks are usually very good in the end game and in open positions. So uh, don't panic when they move out the queen very fast. It's not really 
dangerous. The only thing is remember to ch look what they are threatening. So look in all direction well, because a queen is confusing. It can move to many squares. That's why it's, it's often something that makes you confused. And also you get very annoyed when they make it. You know, you know it's bad and then they uh, somehow uh, you, you miss something and they win something with that stupid queen move. Uh, and we've all been there. Um, with, with black, uh, for instance, a, lo uh, a lot of people who like this play the Scandinavian, and it's the same. So, in general, this uh, exchange is kind of good for black, and we have it in, uh, or it's at least not bad, uh, and we have it in the Caro can and in the French. Um, so, in, it's, in general, it's not a bad exchange for black to exchange the D pawn for the E pawn, but here, black moves the queen one time and then you attack it with the knight so you basically get to, but you also took the pawn which was one tempo but here uh, you already hit in development i'm just gonna show you a little trap uh, someone fell in t against me in, in blitz it happens a lot i play uh, here the main move is 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 d4 and uh, white is is supposed to be better here by the way uh, uh, black can also play Queen e5, check. You can play queen d6, was very popular at some point. And at, I think the moment queen d8 is also popular. So black is just hoping to get a normal position with, without the e and d pawn. And if he manages, he will be fine. But he has spent some tempi uh, trying to get to this point. And tempi does count in chess, but in general, you have to play aggressively. And um, so. Okay, queen a5, uh, and I play this move, and uh, sometimes they play this move, which is normal, and then I play this move, which is not the best move, uh, but uh, it does prevent um, the bishop from, from settling here, pinning the knight, which is, is annoying. Um, it's also a waiting move. If you go knight c6, then you can go bishop b5 immediately, which is, is kind of annoying for him. Um, on bishop f5, uh, the idea is to go b4, and if he here, then you will get and you get this pawn, and you really ruin his structure. So it's kind of a sound trap. Uh, so most of the players they play this move, and then uh, I set a little trap here. I play bishop d3 um, to prevent bishop f5. The best move here is probably for black to play something like knight a6 or maybe knight bd7. A lot of players play this move and a castle, and after this move. Uh, rook e1 they can't castle which is annoying uh, for them so they'll probably go back and i'll go here and they still can't castle so uh, white is probably and they end up playing this and white is probably slightly better here uh, it's not much uh, because black structure is fine and he has easy development and so on but yeah, you might get some a little bit uh, and it's probably f it's just fine for black but you can also because black's idea is to get the bishop out. You can also fall into the trap with bishop f5. And here is where you can really see how to punish the early queen uh, move. So what do white do here? He wins a piece. How does he do that? Because the, we see that this queen is covering the bishop. So that's the idea. Uh, and it would be nice to just exchange his bishop. With this structure, it's fine just to exchange something. But unfortunately for, white, for black, having the queen out early also means you can attack it. And here, b4 is just <laughs> winning a piece. You're attacking the, the queen. It has to move. You can take or you can move. But regardless of where you go, you cannot still cover this bishop. So white, black is losing a bishop in this position uh, he the best of course is to take but still here he's just got one pawn for the for the bishop and white is totally winning uh, even though in the last game i played i blundered my queen <laughs> so <laughs> that was a uh, not a, a big success but but in general you're just winning here uh, so in it's it's not a good idea to bring the queen early but it can bring confusion the main idea is not to panic try to find way to exploit the queen's early uh, involvement in the fight. Usually heavy pieces need to wait a little bit because they're vulnerable to attacks. So if you can find a way to attack it, you might gain more time and speed and tempo and maybe get further ahead in development. Usually when the people 
bring out their queen uh, early, they will uh, get behind in development. A very good example is the so-called poison of pawn uh, uh, variation of the knight of. I'm just going to show that and that will be it for this short video. Uh, so after e4, c5, this is the Sicilian and this is the open Sicilian. And this is the Nidorf variation. It's, uh, it's also known as the Cadillac of chess openings. Bishop d5 is the most aggressive line for white. White is playing bishop d5 and getting ready to castle queenside and try to blow black away. e6, f4, and here black provokes queen b6. Uh, bringing out the queen early, uh, we can see that there are some something here, but Basically, it's attacking this pawn, and the main line here is to just let white, black take it. So you play something like uh, this here, and black's queen is in trouble, but black's won a very nice pawn. White structure is more or less ruined. Uh, this is very sharp variations. It has a lot of theory, and uh, I think the verdict right now is that black is fine. But you really need to know what you're doing, and White has won a ton of quick uh, attacking games in this position. Uh, I think the main line is uh, is either e5 or f5, and you can also play bishop e2. Um, that's all uh, known. There's a lot of theory. I, I got a whole book that's even 20 years old that's only about this variation. So. This is, 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 is serious stuff, taking the pawn. Also, it's a way to play for a win with black, but you are taking chances when you bring out the queen early. Anyway, this was GM Talks. I hope you enjoyed this short video on an important subject. So remember, don't panic. Usually it's not that good to bring out that queen that early. Uh, thank you for watching.